Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for March 21st, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a sweetie's coming with the Tower card, the Strength card, and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the first thing I just really want to tell you guys is, like, just congratulations for you guys, Virgos. You know, I, I, you, know the, you guys have gone through so much sadness, so much pain, so much depression, so much mourning, so much loneliness, you know? And it's like you had to really... Do, be here for you now on your own without the help of anybody, right? It's like, who's coming to heal you? Who's coming to save you? It's like, no one's coming to save you. No one's coming to heal you. Healing healed the healer. It's coming in from a different deck. It's not here, but they're showing me that card specifically because you guys are already healers. In order to heal yourself, you had to heal yourself first from all the pain you guys literally had to go through. That's a lot of pain you guys went through, right? And nobody had, no, nobody was able to heal you, but you yourself. You're the queen of cups. You guys are Simply healers. A lot of you guys might be earth angels, light workers, or just very empathetic or or empaths here from what I'm seeing. But nonetheless, it's like it is what it is, you know. Healing heal the healer. Nobody came to save you. A lot of you guys have to spend a lot of time by yourself in order to heal yourself. So that way, when you guys are fully functioning and fully healed from the pain that a lot of people have caused you, projected onto you as well and hurt you tremendously, now you have the ability to actually help heal other people who were once you back a few years ago right and that's the good thing about it is it's like instead of taking your pain and 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 projecting your pain onto other people what you guys did was you guys became the strongest version of yourselves now you're more stronger now you're more braver now you know how to control your feelings and control your emotions now you got that cute little wreath around your neck because you simply made it like you guys have this fierce lion energy within you guys but you guys know how to handle your energies very very well People need to learn to under don't underestimate you because just because you look like a freaking cutie here, right? Cutie pie, you got a whole lion inside of you. And when I say when you roar, when you speak, when you make noise, you the whole fucking universe literally vibrates. It literally vibrates because that's exactly how powerful you guys genuinely are. You guys are very, very powerful, but you know how to tame that. And when you know how to tame that inner 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 strength that you guys have to okay hold on I'm gonna calm down for a second you know that you're not gonna allow anyone to trigger you because you're not where you used to be whereas somebody could have said something to you would have probably tripped out right away right now it's different now you're just like uh oh, fuck it I don't care <laughs> you guys just don't care anymore it's like I don't have time for this like shit I sat and you guys sat and healed yourselves for fucking years to come so what what can anybody do to you now the answer is nothing. They can't do shit to you. A lot of you guys had gone through a really severe breakup from what I'm seeing here. And it had you guys stuck for a really long time. But it's seeing seeing now, it looks like you guys are seeing everything for what it is with the two of swords. It took you time to get this like dark cloud off of your head in order for you guys to see it. It's like a lot. And, you know, it's like where when you're in a really dark place like this, like where are you guys honestly trying? Like where are you, where are you going? Like where are you going when you're in a dark place like this? There's nowhere to go but up. There's nowhere to go but up. And that's exactly what you guys did. So what did you guys do? You connected yourself to spirituality. You connected yourself to God, to divination. And that's exactly how the healing healed the healer. You know, because where else are you supposed to go when you're this when you're in a fucked up place like this? And then a lot of people who go through a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, you know, they jump into spirituality. And that's exactly where they find their comfort zone because people who suffer like this, it's like one thing after another. It's like very unfair. You guys consider it to be very much so unjust, but you're, you know, your connection to the divination is probably the best thing you guys have, could have ever got connected to. There could have been also a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Libra, a Cancer, uh, a Sagittarius here who uh, who may have hurt you guys really badly, but after you guys have become enlightened, right, with the two of source of the hangman, you guys have become so brave and so fierce at this point that things are going to start turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune. This energy here had to come to a complete ending, so that way you guys can be the person that you need to be as an empress or an emperor. This, you know, the universe is going to be like, you know what, <laughs> you got so comfortable that we had no choice but to freaking shake things up for you because let's just say something's not good for you or not good for your soul the universe is going to step in 
the universe has to step in and shake things up for you so that way you can get going so you can be the person that you need to be realistically. It's like don't get too comfortable with anything in your life because if the universe doesn't agree with it, then the universe is going to come in and bring that tower in for you guys, right? And then these changes had to come in, like the death card had to come in, the tower to the death card, it had to come in. It definitely had to come in, you know? But it will be better for you guys in the long run, realistically speaking, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. <sighs> some of you guys had gone through some sort of um, mourning here, you know? I'm picking up, like... Um, I don't know, I'm picking up like Mex Mexico, Mexico energy. Something had happened in Mexico where maybe you weren't able to see some sort of relative or something. And a lot of you guys might be crying about it or feeling really, feeling really sad about it as well. I do believe your grandmother here loves you very, very much. And she's always with you no matter what. So don't ever think that she's not around you at all, all right? Also, Virgos, it's saying here there's going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who's going to be trying to come back towards you guys. This person is still holding on to your energy and they want to speak to you. Uh, they might want to give you some sort of money. They want to give you a gift. But do expect a message coming in from this person after a very long period of time of them not speaking to you with the hangman. You guys are going to be like, yes, how may I help you? Like you're just not going to be, you're, you will be communicating with them, but you're not going to be communicating them with, with them like that. Understood? It's like, hey, I'm good. Okay. It's like that because realistically, you guys probably are really upset with the fact that they're going to be coming back towards you guys after a long period of time of you guys not fucking around with them. Like this person made you guys absolutely hurt, heartbroken, so much pain and they're honestly coming back towards you guys. So Spirit is pretty much saying to you, hey, you know what? There's no reason for you to stress about anything. Don't stress about nothing. Don't stress about nothing. You know, there's nothing to stress out about. Like if you don't want to talk to them, just don't talk to them. If you want to talk to them, just send them a message, see what's up. But nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. And then you guys got the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands. You guys had to go through all this pain so that way you guys can level the fuck up. You guys have gone through so much sadness, betrayal, pain, hurt from people that you thought you can honestly trust. <sighs> Be careful with people who are getting too close to you. It's saying people keep people that are too clingy on you or want needing you all the time. Keep them kind of like at bay because if the, the, there's no reason for them to be this close to you. I don't know. I find it weird. Why Why do people need to be this so close to you for? Like, what is exactly do they want? Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's the Three of Pentacles, <laughs> Ten of Swords, Four of Wands. So realistically speaking, this person is going to be coming back into your life. They're going to want to work on the relationship uh, during also Mercury Retrograde and the Four of Wands. I don't believe, I, I do believe you guys are going to have the reunion. But honestly, you, you guys have leveled up so much since the last time that you, got, you saw this person to the point where it's just like, you know, like you have no idea what I've been through, Ten of Swords. Like you have, like this person has no idea. Like they don't, they, they you guys are going to tell you have no idea what I've been through you have no idea you know between you and your mind that was probably the biggest war zone you guys had in any area of your life the battle between you and you from what this person had caused you the battle was between literally you and you why? Because when you wanted a closure, when you wanted answers, when you needed someone to be there for you, ain't nobody there for you. And the person that broke your heart to this extent, you couldn't even reach out to them because they're such an asshole. So what was the war on? The war would have been you between you and you. You versus your head and your heart. And it's very, very difficult when somebody has the audacity to ever treat you and put you in a position like that. You've done excellent work on yourselves. Excellent work. Congratulations. This is the, These changes came for you guys. You guys are right. You guys literally said, you know what, fuck it. Like, you're done with it all. You're stepping into that Empress energy, and you're going directly into the Sun energy. Now, now you guys are feeling so much better about yourself. You know your worth. You know your, you have integrity. You have morals. You have dignity. You feel better again about yourselves. You're like, this person really knocked you down. Like, they really made you feel really fucking inadequate. And that's really fucked up. But now that you guys are you guys are more cute more more playful more sweet you know that that hostile energy it's it's definitely being removed from yourselves like 
being removed from your energy and you guys are more in the energy of like I don't chase I attract if you don't want me then I don't fucking want you either like you got to show me that you want me otherwise I don't fucking want you and that's exactly what that empress in the sun card is showing you guys so this opportunity is coming for you guys too a lot of you guys may have also just applied for a new position or a workplace it's saying it looks like it's going to be coming in for you guys where you guys are going to be working don't don't ever don't ever take anything less than what you guys deserve ten of pentacles ace of wands so there's a huge opportunity coming in for you guys too and realistically speaking this person's gonna want to come while you guys are living your best life and making life happen for yourselves and now this person wants to come in now they want to come in when you're doing good but where the fuck were they when you're all the way fucked up and you were all, and you was on your face waiting for them to fucking text you and reach out to you where the fuck were they when when you was on your face and it's dead so because now you're doing wicked and you're looking good and fine finer than ever and you're making your and you're making your fucking cake the fuck now this person wants to come in but they have no idea what you've been through within like the last nine 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 nine, <laughs> nine months whatever the case is so now so so they don't want to be there for you when you're when you're on your face but they want to be there for you when you're when you're looking good when you fine as fuck right that's so nice that's so nice there could have also been an aries leo sagittarius who may have had another Aries Leo Sagittarius that they were fucking around with. The, I do believe that the two people are working together with the Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and, and and whatever is happening here, the Queen of Wands is it's like this person is the one that's doing some crazy shit. And it's funny because this King of Wands is not invited. Something about the King of Wands not being invited. Somebody here is going to be throwing some sort of party. And I do recommend that you should be very careful that you don't end up getting sick. And then this King of Wands is going to feel like rejected or feel like like they weren't invited. Like they're on the outside looking through someone's window. Like, are you, are you going to invite? Are you going to let me in? Are you going to let me in? And you guys are like, no, we're not going to let you in. You're not welcome here. This is a group that, this is a, you know, this is a group thing. It's, you're not welcome. So, anyway, you guys got this opportunity. You have to make sure that you're listening to your intuition. So, during the new moon, uh, you guys might be getting invited out. And some of you guys are honestly going to reject this offer. Because the Four of Cups is coming to the High Priestess, I do believe that there's going to be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who you guys are not talking to right now, but they're going to come around for you guys and reach out to you. Your intuition is telling you to go on with your life and don't look back. And that's exactly what you guys are going to do. You're never going to look back at this person because this person had you all the way fucked up and they were probably cheating on you guys and whatever the case is. But... I just heard Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> um, this can be vice versa too. Like, Mr. Steal Your Girl. Like, what did you guys do out here? But yeah, you guys are walking away. Uh, Eight of Cups. During the moon energy, you guys are going to be walking away from this person, calling it a fucking day. You guys don't really care anymore either. Like, a lot of you guys' intuition is like fleeking at the point where you guys feel like this person's doing stupid shit behind your back. And it looks like your intuition is right. Like, I don't believe you guys are even going to ask this person anything. You're just going to follow your intuition and be like, you know what? High Priestess, Eight of Cups, I got to go. Like, you're moving on. So this person's going to turn around. After they try to be invited to some sort of party that they don't look like they even were able to get into, I don't know. Know, maybe this person's going to some sort of club and they can't get in and you guys found out about it and then they're going to be reaching out to you like hey can I come in and it's like three o'clock in the morning you're like what the fuck like what what's going on and then you guys are going to be like no like you're not you're going to simply stay silent and you're just walking away from this person anyway um a lot of people are going to be wanting you Virgos you guys are getting like you guys are getting recognized with the six of wands, seven of pentacles. Like you guys got everything going for you, and you're very fierce and you're so cute about it. A lot of you guys are gonna start dressing up in really really cute outfits, maybe girly outfits too. I guess it's because it's summertime now, so you're gonna like springtime. So you guys are gonna dress up like nice dresses, whatever the case is. You guys are just gonna feel so much more better. You guys are gonna get the recognition that you guys need, and a lot of people, a lot of men, and a lot of women are gonna be looking at you left, right, and center. They're gonna find you so be so beautiful, so attractive. They're all gonna want to know your name, and you're gonna have to really make the decision with the Seven of Pentacles on like who do you guys really want to be with? Because realistically, you guys have built these not this Nine of Cups for yourselves, right? So it's like mm, you know what? It's nice to have all this, all this, all this attention, but at the same time. 
you're not really the one for the streets because you're an empress. You're not one for the streets, so it's only one person can get you. And at this point, a lot of people are going to be upset about it too. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius wants to come back towards you guys, but this person's always on some fuck shit. It's like they love and hate you at the exact same time, but they are coming back and they want to work on their relationship. They are trying to hold on tight to you guys, but you guys feel like it might be too difficult for this person to, uh, for you guys to work on this relationship because they're still quick tempered with the Knight of Sword energy. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of you guys are planning on blocking them. I do believe this person is trying to contact you already. And a lot of you guys have already blocked this person. And they don't realize that you actually blocked them. That's why they're not able to get a response out of you, which is so crazy. And you guys are just like, no, fuck that. Like, this is stupid shit. You don't want to deal with it. So you guys are moving away from it. And that was probably the right thing for you guys to do with the Justice card to the everything is fine. It's like the Ten of Swords, you know, you're all the way fucked up there. But at the same time, it's like you can handle the pain now. You can handle all this fucking shit that people have put you through, especially people who are your fucking enemies here with the Five of Swords. You guys are moving away from it. You guys don't want nothing to do with your enemies. They have a lot. They have they have a lot of their nose in your business, but you guys don't really care about them at the end of the day. And it really it really that's really what it comes down to. At the bottom of the deck, anyways, is justice is in your favor. Whatever it was unjust before is going to be just for you guys uh, with the justice card. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the queen of cups. All right. There is a lot of... <sighs> There's a lot of people, Virgos, in your energy with the five of wands, seven of swords, who are really in so much competition with you. Maybe more so pissed off with the fact that you guys are getting always gifts from the universe. You guys are always, like, yeah, what are you mad about? Like, I don't understand. People are just mad and upset that you guys continue to get blessed from the universe. And these people are sitting there freaking gobbling <laughs> they're gobbling they're fucking they're acting like turkeys they're gobbling and I, mean, I guess they're talking a lot of shit just and the things that they're saying is just like gobble 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 <laughs> they're just like gobble 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 i don't fucking know what this is so fucking jokes you're <laughs> y'all the angels are so joke sometimes they so they're just so funny so they're talking about how they're just gobbling. They're just gobble, gobble, gobble. They're just, I don't know what's wrong, what's going on with them. They're, they're, <laughs> I can't even do it. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, this person here, these people are... All right, Virgos, you guys got a lot of competition with a lot of people that are around you guys. Maybe it's due to money or your workplace situation with the Five of Wands to the Six of Pentacles. It looks like the gift is going to be presented towards you guys and everyone's in competition thinking that they're going to be able to get that away, get that for themselves. But realistically, they're never going to be able to. Seven of Swords, they think that they're going to be able to get away with trying to fuck with you, fuck with your money. But realistically, the only thing that's happening to them is they're getting problems. They're, they're, they're getting problems in their life. They're getting drama in their life, you know? and they're just mad because you guys carry something within you and they really underestimated you like I can't even explain to you how much they underestimated you maybe because a lot of you guys I always tell you guys this along uh, all the time I always tell you guys people underestimate you guys because a lot of you guys might be young and playful and cute you know and people think that yo you're, you're not aware you, you don't you don't know nothing in life that you just this dummy yeah no you're not you're far fucking from it you're far from it. You don't You don't need to be in, always in stiff fucking mode like the King of Swords or Queen of Swords. Nobody wants to act like a fucking Queen or King of Swords. It's so annoying. It's nice that you're blunt and you can speak the truth and everything, but nobody wants nobody that's the fucking annoying like that. Go live your life. Be happy. You know, the universe is still moving at the end of the day. And a lot of your enemies, Virgos, they're in a lot of competition with you, but they're all going to be at huge losses, especially on a financial level, because they thought that they can try and do something here to ruin your money, to fuck with your money, to fuck with your business. It's saying that you guys are so protected at this point and defend and like you, you, you fight like you literally fight seven of wands. Your enemies are always trying to find ways to come and fuck you up, but you guys are always at the, you guys have the upper hand like that's really what it comes down to you guys have the upper hand nobody can take anything from you because what you guys have created for yourselves nobody can ever take that away from you guys because god continues to bless you oh you want to sit there and take away what god gave somebody who the fuck are you to freaking mock god and say oh no god you can't give this to somebody no god's gonna make sure he gives it to this person because who the fuck are you in the end 
to sit there and fucking be in competition because you want something that somebody else has. You're never going to be able to be like a Virgo. You know, whoever I'm talking to, you'll, you'll never be able to be like the one that you're sitting there being jealous of. It's never going to happen. Because God made you to be who you are. If you carry jealousy in your heart space, that means it, that all that means is that you need to learn how to do work on yourself so you don't have to carry that energy. That you're going to have to learn to say, you know what, I'm, I, I enjoy seeing people be happy. That's how you should be. Not that, oh, that person's always happy. People don't have to hate you for anything that you have. People just simply hate you because of your energy, of your aura. That's really what it comes down to. Nobody has this many fucking enemies in their life for no reason. You guys carry something that they don't have, and it really fucking triggers them. And realistically speaking, Virgos, you guys better fucking keep shining, keep doing your thing, flaunt your shit. Who gives a fuck at the end of the day? At the end of the day, you guys are humble as hell. So what the fuck you mean? Oh, oh. No, you're humble about it. You're humble because you're the nine of pentacles to the ace of cups to the world card. Like this is success. This is true love. This is the universe telling you, hey, you know what? We love you so much that we want to continuously bless you, take care of you, help you. We want to do this because you have, you, you've you given out so much unconditional love to people, to strangers, people that you don't even know. You help them out. No matter what, you always help them out. These people don't help nobody out. They're always thinking about themselves. They always think about themselves, where you guys are always thinking about how you're going to help somebody out today. And if you see somebody that's in a position that they need help, you're going to go quickly run over there and you're going to go help them out. That's why the universe loves you and is always going to bless you no matter what. Because yo, your heart don't be moving like their heart. When You know, you, you don't, they don't carry the same heart you do. And this is really big energy because a lot of people don't carry the same heart you do. And some of you guys are willing to wonder and like, yo, why is your heart so fucked up for like, how you move like that? How are you so cold? How are you so disrespectful? How are you so rude? Like, what's wrong with you? And that's because their heart moves a little bit fucking differently than yours. <sighs> In the past, Virgos, you guys were dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person may have been really, really toxic or tried to keep you guys pressed or keep you guys codependent. But at the end of the day, they are going to reach out to you too, with Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. This person want, from the past wants to come back. They want to talk to you. They're also going to reach out to you and ask you, hey, do you want to hang out? And you guys are look like you guys are going to speak up to this person and say what you guys want to say. This person may have wanted to sleep with you at one point with the tower, with the, whoa, with the tower tower card with the with the devil card to the nine of wands they look like they may have wanted to sleep with you but you guys have to put this person in check and be like yeah bridget we don't want to fuck with you like that the fuck you mean <laughs> so 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 at the end of the day uh you guys also have a <laughs> you guys also have a cancer pisces scorpio where you guys look like you're going to be meeting up with this person all right and you guys are going to be speaking to them and just what's with the fucking cold with the, what's with the cold quick energy like yo someone's trying to be cute with you and you guys are just like yeah did it <laughs> i guess this is the season where you're just gonna let everybody know where you stand like that's really what it comes down to like your sword is all the way the fuck up and you're like not worried at all you're just really gonna let this person know how you really feel uh, but they got love for you. They got feelings for you too. Maybe what had happened was that this per you guys feel like the energy between you and this person was very inconsistent, like very unstable, like very inconsistent energy. It's not that they weren't doing. It. It's not that it's not that this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is doing anything behind your back. It's just that they have stuff going on, and they're not taking life very seriously at the moment. Where you guys might be hustling, working, doing your thing, and you're not taking life very seriously either, right? But it looks like you guys are going to be linking up with each other with the Two of Cups. So our reunion's coming in, and they're obviously going to be wanting to work on this relationship where you guys might have to think about it for a second and really try and figure out, like, what is it that you guys genuinely need or want, right? Because realistically speaking, this person could be a bit younger than you guys, but in the end, you guys are looking for somebody who's going to be able to give you a relationship and even marry, but that's on the front line for you. Like, that's going to be coming in for you guys. You guys do not want to be sitting there wasting your time with people who are not going to be able to build a relationship with you guys, right? Otherwise, you're going to just continue to stay in Hermit and focus on the bag. Queen of Pentacles, Hermit card, that's a you dat, right? Uh, but nonetheless, this person is going to be speaking up and letting you know that they do want a relationship with you. They had to think about it for quite some time about what it is that they wanted. Maybe marriage was not on the fourth front for them. Like they never thought they would want to ever get married, but it looks like they have made the decision that if they're going to marry anybody, they're going to want to marry you guys, right? And they had to rest and they had to really think about it for a while, but because they were being the, the fool, they, act, they were acting the fool, right? So being playful, running around, free-spirited, like, no, life is too sharp. I gotta run around <laughs> naked. So this is one thing. 
<laughs> I don't know what's happening. You guys are so jokes. Uh, at least Spirit is so funny. So after them running around and fucking around a bit, they are now coming towards you guys with the Knight of Cups. And this person may have been uh, spending a lot of time with their family or whatever because of a lot of pain and hurt that they had to go through. Maybe this person broke up from a really dark, fucked up relationship, like a really toxic relationship, and they needed time to heal and they're still suffering. But nonetheless, they are coming back towards you guys, which is nice because you guys are finally the emperor where you guys, you know, you're strong, you're balanced the fuck out, masculine and feminine energy. And realistically, this person is just healing themselves where you guys have already been through the healing process at the end of the day, like healing, heal the healer, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are, believe me, Virgos, you guys are, like, a good 10 years ahead of a lot of people spiritually and on a healing level. You know, not to say it's not, it's a bad thing, but, like, a lot of people have to go and see, like, I don't know, whatever to go get the help that they need. And they still don't get the help that they actually need because, realistically speaking, sometimes with what's happening is these tower moments come into your life so that way you can see the world for exactly what it is. Because once you come out of it and you see shit for what it is, now the whole, like, everything you thought was before, it, 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 it crumbles. Now you see everything for exactly what it is. Because before you would have been vulnerable and naive and so cute, you know? And it took pain for you guys to see, like, you know what? Not everyone is going to be as, as loving as you. And it took pain for you guys to really see that shit. So <laughs> it puts you guys in a position now to actually help heal other people as well, you know? <sighs> but I do, do believe you guys are just fully in tune at this point with the with the moon card. Um, there is somebody here who is maybe trying to do magic on you guys during the new moon energy, but they are going to be ending up very much so heartbroken for what they've done to you. You guys got a lot of success and prosperity and money on the way for you guys. Don't need to be stressed out or anything like that. You have to be smart. Think quickly. You know, use your speedy intelligence. Don't let nobody put you in a position of feeling fucked up with the eight of swords, page of cups. A lot of you guys are going to be in your head having anxiety when, when, when opportunities come towards you guys. Nothing as bad is happening here. You guys just simply overthink a lot and self-sabotage a lot. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think it's normal to feel that way. But you do need to make sure that you can use your discernment to say to yourself, is is this is it necessary for me to be stressed at or have anxiety over something that the universe is bringing to me? Is there a reason why I'm overthinking a whole lot? What is causing me the stress and the anxiety? If you can differentiate these two things, then I think that you guys are going to always be okay. Spirit is saying anytime you guys are getting anxiety, you need to drink water. Drink water. Immediately drink water. Whatever is happening. They say telling you to drink water. Every single time you guys have anxiety, just drink water. I guess you guys put yourselves in such fucked up situations that you guys forget to drink water spirit wants you to drink water and eat something good like healthy it looks like for you guys but nonetheless virgos you guys are the magician now now you guys are the you guys can take all the tools that you guys have been through and you guys can pick up your life eight of wands uh, ace of pentacles things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you guys money's also on the way for you guys as well no to be no need to be still feeling stressed out or anything about finances because finance is going to pick up for you guys if you guys are running a business and saying your business is going to be running and doing just fine don't be worried about money the universe loves you and it's going to provide for you. you guys also have a lot of people here who are going to love you and also support you if you think that you're all by yourself and that nobody sees the things that you go through no everyone sees exactly what you're going through and it's okay for them to support you and be there for you i don't think really re realistic Basically speaking, a lot of people would know because a lot of you guys probably don't say nothing to anybody. But I think in turn, you know, people should just have the common decency to kind of be like, you know what, you know, <laughs> maybe you need help too. Eight of Swords, uh, Page of Cups. But it's fine. Like, I don't think it's anything bad. It's just like the moon energy. Also, Virgos, don't allow the energy of the moon to play any type of uh, role, like negative roles in your life. Be the magician, you know be strong be powerful take the take the magician energy and utilize it and get things to go start moving more faster for you guys because the universe is coming in with an opportunity here with the, with the ace of pentacles and a lot of you guys may have been really thinking a lot about it stressed out about it a lot as well thinking that when is this blessing going to come in for you and it's saying it's coming in for you uh within the next eight days it's going to be reaching out to you guys you're going to have a lot of people who are going to love you and very and very much so support you guys there could also be a cancer spice cancer pisces scorpio 
who's feeling really stressed out and having a lot of anxiety at the moment, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Pisces, who might be very stressed out, her Aries, Taurus, Libra, <laughs> who is very stressed out right now. This person really wants to reach out to you and give you guys a gift or proposal of something, but they don't really know how to approach you. Maybe it's been some time since this person has talked to you for a minute and they think it could be kind of weird for them to just reach out to you at a, a random time, you know, but it looks like they're going to end up doing it anyway. Thanks, cuties. Bye.